today is day four. <laughs> Sharice here from Pieces, Pieces, here from Pieces Calligraphy. I cannot say it. Hey there, Sharice here from Pieces Calligraphy. Welcome to day 15 in my YouTuber challenge where I'm bringing you a new video every single day for the whole month of October. Now, while today is day 15, it's actually day two in my mini series on the alphabet. So I'm excited to bring you yet another group of letters that we're going to focus on. If you want to check back on the previous day, I will leave a link down below so you can check that out. So let's just dive right in. We're going to do letters that are based on the overturn and the compound curve since they are related strokes. And I'm gonna do a quick little review and then we'll just go right into the letters. All right, so we have the same setup as yesterday with our marker paper that is on top of some guide sheets here. And then I have my large brush pen. So the strokes we're going to review today are the overturn, which starts out with a hairline at the baseline. It hits the waistline and it curves around and then you apply pressure until you reach full pressure at the baseline. And then the compound curve, which is the same basic stroke as the overturn, but instead of ending at full pressure at the baseline, we're going to decrease our pressure and revert back to a hairline stroke and then finish up top with an upstroke. Okay, so the first letter that we're going to review with this is the letter N. So the letter N is basically those two strokes put together. So you have your overturn and then you have your compound curve. And I like to stop my compound curve at the baseline, similar to the underturn from yesterday's video. So that's something that just helps me break up such a huge and overwhelming stroke. Then the letter M is pretty much the same thing, except we're just adding an extra overturn. And then the next letter I wanna review is the letter V, because the letter V has a compound curve and then a comma dot. And then last but not least is the letter Y. which is a compound curve and then a descending stem loop, which we're going to review in a future video. So as you can see, we have our overturn here in these letters and then all of them have a compound curve in them. Okay, so as I was explaining in day one's video, it's really nice to break up the alphabet in terms of similar basic strokes because you can do drills that are on these basic strokes and then transfer those skills and build your muscle memory into the letters. It just flows really nicely. So you're not constantly switching your brain power and actually being more efficient in your practice. So there you go, day 15, which is the second part in this mini series on the alphabet, letters that are based on the overturn and the compound curve. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, or let me know in a comment down below if this was helpful to you at all. I would love to hear from you as always. Be sure to check out part one in this mini series and all of the other YouTuber series that I have. There's a little playlist going on that you can just kind of blow right through. And as always, if you're new around here, please hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. For the rest of the month, you can expect a new video every single day on brush calligraphy. This is the place to just hang out and get your brush pens out and write with me. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 16. Bye. How do you like those basic strokes? You gonna practice hard? Oh, yes. Yes, new video, new day, same shirt because I'm filming these videos all at once. Hashtag behind the scenes, hashtag real life.